Hi, today is September 19th, uh, excuse me, September 17th, I apologize. This will be my last update on my home use power station. Now, there's a reason for this, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit. Now, the last test I did was on May 28th, before that was March 18th. I've had this just over six months, seven months, something like that. Um, so it's been under a year. Now I've only used it a couple times, mostly to run the test on. Now after my last test, I charged it, I put it up. Now today the power went out. And unfortunately, something really bad happened. I'm going to get into that. But first, if anything in my life happens that's good, usually something bad is going to follow. That's usually how it works. Uh, my girlfriend did go to the doctor. They did say she is cancer free. Um, she's had kidney stones three times since December of last year. Of 2022. Three times kidney stones. They did um, parathyroid surgery. Uh, her parathyroid was overactive. Her thyroid was overactive. The parathyroid was creating the kidney stones. So they did surgery on her throat, took off the parathyroid, and hopefully that takes care of her kidney stones. Um, so she had surgery on that. Of course, she had kidney stone surgery. Um, she did pass another kidney stone not that long ago, before she had the surgery. Um, so hopefully, you know, everything's good with her so far. So far, the um, kidney stones are hopefully gone. The cancer is gone. And she did have her surgery to remove the parathyroid to keep the kidney stones hopefully gone. So that's good. Now for the bad. Today is September 17th, 2023. Our lights went out today. Uh, it was a really bad day especially for me now the reason this is going to be the last video on the home years is because it is tore apart um, I did plug it into my chest freezer it seemed to work all right um, no issues but then I plugged in my fridge and immediately smoke spark the smell of burning electrical contacts and I unplugged it immediately, took it outside, set it on the cement because it is lithium. It is very dangerous if these batteries catch. So I took it outside, let it set out there a while, came in here and ripped it apart to see what happened. Now I do not have the parts to fix this. And it would probably cost almost as much money for the parts than to just get another power station. I will not be buying another one of these. This thing did not last a year. I kept it charged and in its bag. So I have no clue. Now we do have several mice in here since the um, landlord started working on the place over here. Um, our neighbor Mo passed away and they redid the carpet, painted and banged around in there. So they chased all the mice from in there into here. So we have about 20 mice in our studio apartment right now. And they are getting behind our fridge here. And maybe they chew through something or short us something out. I don't know. The fridge is still working fine, so I'm not sure. Um, or it could have just been the power station itself. Let's take a look. Let's look at the bottom. You see a burnt spot there? And you're probably going, well, you can fix that. Yes, I could fix that. Now, let's take a look here. Two MOSFETs are blown. Possibly more. It looks like the circuit here maybe have some damage. And down there on the circuit board, it looks like it may have some damage. So... 
everything else is in pretty good shape. Um, this here looks like it might have damage. But everything else looks like it's in pretty good shape. You can see that there. Um, some of the wires that go to the fans up here are like melted. So that's what happened today. When our lights went out, I plugged it in. It ran without an issue um, until I plugged the fridge in and immediately it blew. Now the thing that gets me is I use my other power station down here, the um, North Pole Light. It only has one plug like this. So I don't think it's the fridge because I plugged the North Pole Light in. I plugged a, um, oh, da, 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 what are they call it, surge protector, the, you know, one of the strips, which I have up there. In fact, let me reach this right here I plugged this into the North Pole light I plugged the chest freezer in and the mini fridge in and it ran perfectly so I don't think there's something wrong with the fridge or the chest freezer I actually think there was something wrong with this now I did find out that this wasn't charging properly now, it really surprised me that they have no type of protection in here. I mean, I'm sure they have some little mini bullshit circuits somewhere. But this had no protection. It completely blew. Um, they have no replaceable fuses or anything like that that you can work on. And, of course, me getting a hold of parts like this is probably going to be next to impossible. So, you know, this is good and junk now. Now, the MOSFETs I can get my hands on, but it looks like there is damage to the motherboard here, the circuit board, and especially on this one. It looks like there could be damage there, but everything else looks pretty good. Is it worth fixing? No. Um, I don't know why it blew. But it blew. I do know that before it blew, when I turned the AC power on, it did not want to come on. Um, when I turned the lamp on, the light would only light sometimes. And when I turned DC on and off, it would not work at all. And I did figure if I held the DC button in and I had to hold it in, it the DC would work. So... Apparently something went wrong with this. Something happened. Oh, and I tore it apart. Now let me show you what I did with the battery. Here's the main leads coming out the battery. Going into my 400 watt ever start. I do absolutely detest this power inverter. Uh, I really don't care for ever start. They pretty much make junk products. Now you see here I saved one of the clips here. This is also 12 volt. I believe this goes to the BMS right here. Um, hopefully the BMS is working. If not, it's not an issue. I can put a gauge on here to uh, read um, to tell me how much power is in here. Or I can just do this. There's 12.5 in here now. Now this will work. Right now I can plug a light or something else in there. And you're seeing I have this connected here to this wire. This is the wire I used down the camper when I had all that stuff in the camper. Going up here to my load on my charger controller. So I can charge this slowly with the 30 watt panel out here. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this goes into the BMS. Um, at least I hope it does, because if not, the thing is, this will still not overcharge. Because 
This is set to produce only enough power to charge a lead acid battery. So there is no way this is going to overcharge. Even if I left this on 24-7, it would not overcharge. But it will charge up enough for me to use it. So I can use it for a power source still. I can still use it to, for USB charging. I can put lights on there or whatever I need to put a fan. Um, I could possibly run my chest freezer off of this, but I would not want to run it off this 400 watt. I mean, I guess it is possible, but I believe a little bit bigger power uh, inverter here would do much better. So this is the battery pack. You can see it's decent size. It's not super large. There's the numbers. And it was made in two, uh, 2021. Okay. Of course, now it will be my last video on this one. Which is a real shame. I really liked this one i really did um it had a longer storage capacity it worked better than the north pole light the inverter worked better but unfortunately it decided to go kaput today i need to save this fan i'm going to strip this thing down of any parts i can use any cables whatever i can use and then the rest will be, of course, junk. Unfortunately, $170. Well, it was $168 when I bought mine. When I bought this one. And it did not last a year. I don't know why this thing shorted out like it did. Because the North Pole light did just fine. This one just ended up shorting out for some reason. Um, like I said, our power did go out. Today it was out for a good while. So I did hook up the 1500 watt DC to AC pure sine wave inverter outside to my 400 watts of solar. I was running that fridge right there and my laptop off of that. Now, I could have ran my chest freezer in this as well, off of that alone. But since I had that covered, I just wanted to run the fridge over there and my laptop. That was it. No lights, no nothing else. But I don't know what happened to this. I don't know why it did this. And honestly, I really don't care because my girlfriend is now free of cancer, hopefully free of kidney stones, and she's feeling much, much better. But every time something good happens, yeah, something bad is pretty close down the road for me. Uh, it seems that way. Yours, if you get one of these, may last longer. I uh, hope yours lasts longer. Um, like I said, it, it did great in my test. It ran my uh, ARB fridge for eight hours from unfroze out in my camper trailer without an issue. While the North Pole light didn't quite make that. It ran my chest freezer here. Right there in my videos. For 10 hours and still have power to spare. So I don't know what happened. I guess that's just the way my luck is. Um, anytime something good happens, something bad is soon to follow. Like I said, these are fine to have. They're great to have in an emergency. But do not rely on a power station. 
or so-called solar generator for your main source of power. And if you do, always have a backup source. Always. That's what I keep telling people. It, this is more or less a solar generator. That's all this is. A solar generator is one of these that charges with solar panels or through a plug or through 12 volt. That's what this did. The only thing missing was the solar panel. Which I have solar panels, so it's not an issue. But if you are relying on something like this, a so-called solar generator for your main power, what are you going to do in a situation like this? These are great to have. They come in handy. I do still have my other one. My girlfriend's going to be real upset about this one. I mean, like I said, I don't know why it did what it did, but it, it just blew. I don't know why it did that. So my girlfriend's not going to be real happy about this. This thing was $168 when I bought it. So that's almost $200, and it didn't last a year. Always have a different type of power for backup. Always have something extra for backup. I do. I have solar. I have DC to AC inverters. I have four. Let's see. One, two, three. Four DC to AC power inverters. I have one in the camper. I have the 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter up here. I have the 2500 watt inverter up there. I also have the small inverter over there. I have an inverter in the camper on a battery. So I can use that power if I need to. I can hook one of these inverters up to my van and use power while the van is running. And I can hook up a inverter like to a battery pack like that. And I can hook one up outside onto my solar panel. Always have some type of backup power. If you are relying on these for your main source of power, I don't care if it's one of these, which I would not rely on something this small anyway, but if you are, or any type of solar generator, I would not rely on it for main power. And if you do, things can happen. I don't know why this did it, what it did. But it just completely blew the MOSFETs there. And looks like damaged the circuit board, the motherboard, the main board. It looks like it damaged this circuit board here. Always have something else. Alright, I'm fixing to go. Everyone have a good day. Bye.